Hey, what's going on? Thank you for your purchase of the Boss EA. Now, what you're gonna end up doing and seeing in this video is how to be able to install it and how to be able to get your uh, platform and your charts to be able to look like what we end up having on the screen. So we're gonna start from the beginning. Uh, we're gonna end up opening up a chart. We're gonna end up placing everything in so you can be able to have the files and be able to know exactly what to be able to do. Uh, so you can be able to use that to your advantage. Now, once you end up getting the files, what you're gonna end up seeing is that your files we end up looking exactly like this. You're gonna end up having a boss EA MQL5 folder where you're gonna end up having presets, you're gonna end up having templates, and then after that, you're gonna end up having a README first. The README first is actually gonna end up sending you over to the Discord link, which you will end up having a risk taker um, actual role. And inside of the Discord from that risk taker role, what you will end up seeing is the expert about the files, the overall training videos, the platform information, and the risk room in which that will be the area where we end up doing primarily uh, conversation for its overall game plans and everything else like that. Now, with that being said, as we go through and be able to place this on our file, I'm going to move this over to our right hand side and take that off the screen real quick. Once you end up getting on to the MQL uh, 5 or the MetaTrader 5 terminal, what you would need to do is click on view. Uh, if you do not have the market watch on, you will end up clicking on the market watch, and then after that, you will end up clicking on the symbol list. Now, the expert advisors that are, are in this expert advisor, there are four uh, preset files that we have set up. The first ones are uh, the Euro United States dollar. We have US yen as one of them as well, in which we don't necessarily use as much, but you have it as a option to be able to use. And then from there, what you will end up doing is that you will end up scrolling down uh, to where you end up seeing cash. Now from cash, you will end up going either with US 30 or US 100 when it comes down to FTMO. Uh, uh, NAS 100 or US 100, which is the equivalent of that on the FTMO. We end up using German 40, which is DAX. You can be able to click that on and be able to place that in as well as a option to be able to get placed in. And once you do that, you will see that in the market watch, it is set up as the files to be able to get placed in. So let's go ahead and get US 100 set up as a actual file to be able to get placed in. Uh, from there, what you end up doing is left clicking on the US 100, you will right click onto it, and then after that, click on chart window. Once you do that, you will end up having just a regular uh, blank screen that you can be able to take a look at and be able to have set up. This is the default files that you end up using. From here, we need to place in our template file. Now, with our template file, what we end up doing is right clicking on the middle of the screen. Once you end up right clicking on the middle of the screen, you will end up clicking on templates and then after that, click on load template. From here, you will end up having a folder uh, where you can be able to place in all of your files from the template folder. What you end up doing is double clicking on the template folder. Then after that, you will end up right clicking on boss black. And then after that, pasting it inside of this overall folder, in which I already have it on the screen. From there, you will end up double clicking on the boss black. And once you do that, what you end up seeing is that the black screen will end up showing up. It will end up changing the candlesticks. And then after that, it will end up having the period separators, which will actually end up being a line uh, that's actually on the screen from there. Now, we know that we're on US 100. Uh, we know that we have the expert advisor already placed in on the file, which you do not have to change because it's already on the MQL5 marketplace. Now, the only thing that you personally have to do is be able to place the MQL5 folder, or uh, place in the expert advisor onto the actual chart, and then after that, place in the actual preset file that corresponds with that overall pair. So let's go ahead and do that now. In this case, what we end up doing is clicking on the uh, boss file. We're gonna click and then drag it onto the screen, let go. Once you end up doing that, you will see it on the right hand side. If this cap is set up as being gray, then that means that the algo trading is set up as false. If you end up turning it on, then once you end up clicking onto it, it will actually end up turning blue and that will allow you to be able to trade as well. But you have to make sure that you have your common set up to where you can be able to click on allow algo trading if you want to be able to have it on. It's basically a two factor. You have to be able to have this on. You have to be able to have the algo trading set up to, be, to where it's at play. And then after that, you end up seeing a blue hat that you can be able to uh, get everything else situated with. From there, what you'll end up doing is clicking on inputs. Once you end up clicking on inputs, you're gonna click on load. After you end up clicking on load, this is your area where you're gonna end up placing in your template files. Now, because we're doing US 100, 
we will click on the preset file for that. If we're just doing this based off of a regular brokerage, then what you would do is click on the brokerage presets. And then after that, click on the corresponding chart that matches up with the pair that you're trying to use. So in this case, it ended up being NAS 100, uh, the LDD or low drawdown uh, folder. Now, if you're doing this for FTMO or any other brokerage challenge, then we already have some preset files for the FTMO uh, brokerage channel that has passed uh, already. So what you end up doing is double clicking on that. And then after that, you will end up going to the actual file that corresponds with that as well. So let's do that for NAS 100. We're gonna double click. I mean, we're gonna right click onto this folder. We're gonna click on copy. Once we end up clicking on copy, we're gonna right click and then click on paste. After you end up right clicking and clicking on paste, I'm gonna move this over to the right so you can see how it ends up changing on the screen. By double clicking onto it, you will end up seeing that the preset file is changed on the screen from there. Now, more importantly, when you end up going down to the bottom, if you do not wanna have the chart on the screen, you can be able to double click on this and make it false, and then after that, it won't show up. If you want it to be shown on the screen, you will keep it as true. Then from there, you end up clicking going OK. Once you click on OK, you will end up seeing the actual screen uh, where you end up having a boss template. And remember, you just have to make sure that your algo trading is turned on and your overall trading in general is turned on from there. Once you do that, then you have both of them set up and ready to go when it comes down to trading. Hopefully this video end up helping out uh, you when it comes down to your overall trading journey with us. And let's go ahead and be able to make money together.